Hi, my name is uh, Jiang Wu. Thank you very much for your interest in Rice State University and specifically in our electrical engineering department and our program. I am a professor of electrical engineering and uh, I will take a few minutes of your time to give you a brief introduction of the stuff I teach and some of the interesting stuff we do. And that is why you should come to visit us at Rice State University. Now, let me move on to the PowerPoint I have prepared for you. Here we go. Again, my name is uh, Zhi Qiang Wu, and uh, as some of you have difficulty pronouncing my name, uh, I go by Jiang. I got my PhD in electrical engineering from Colorado State University in 2002. And uh, I started my teaching career at West Virginia Tech from 2003 to 2005. And then in 2005, I moved to Rice State University and have been teaching here since then. It has been 15 years. I have listed my email address and my phone number here. Uh, my office is in Joshi Research Center 481. And my research lab is just across the hall in Joshi Center 482. Normally speaking, if we are not in this coronavirus situation, I should be in my office or my research lab. My major area is communication. So I teach digital communication, wireless communication, and related courses such as uh, linear systems. And I also teach some courses in electronic warfare. I was also involved in our city design. And uh, we had a very interesting project called the High Altitude Loom Project, which I will show you some of the uh, pictures a little bit later on. Communication has fundamentally changed our world, and communication is evolving very, very rapidly. Think about it. Everybody has a cell phone. Everybody listens to radio when you're driving in a car, and everybody watches television, and everybody has a GPS receiver. All of this are forms of different communication systems. So aren't you fascinated to learn how the communication works, how we can send your voice or a text message or a self picture you just taken onto Instagram, and you can send them instantaneously to anybody in the world across the globe. Isn't that fascinating? And that is what I do, and I am very, very interested in teaching them to you. This is a picture taken by somebody of the SpaceX Starlink satellites. They sent thousands of satellites into the orbit. And pretty soon, in six to nine months, these satellites will be able to provide internet access to almost anywhere in this world. Isn't that great? We will also learn stuff like this in our classes. Our department is also proud to be the first national model of software-defined radio-based teaching labs for our undergraduate digital communication and wireless communication courses. On the left side here, you see this software-defined radio board we have. And using this board, and you program on it, you can pretty much turn this radio into anything, such as FM radio, or a ham radio, or even a TV receiver. On the right side is a picture of my lab where we use these software different radios and turn them into video transmission and video monitoring systems. My students involved in a lot of my research through their teaching experience. Their work 
has received the Best Demo Award from IEEE Globecom Conference, which is the flagship conference of Communication Society. Now let's talk about the Bloom project a little bit. This is a very interesting multidisciplinary senior design project where we have a bunch of students from electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, and computer engineering working together. And we design some circuitry, we put a lot of electronic devices into a packet, and then we send it up with a high altitude balloon, and it will ascend to more than 100,000 feet. And our package contains radio transmitters, video cameras, GPS receivers, and stuff like that. So when the balloon pops, the parachute opens and it carries our packet down to the ground. And using the radio transmission of the GPS location, our students will be able to fox hunt and find where our packet is located. This picture shows how we have just filled up the balloon and we're uh, sending our package up. This picture shows the balloon carrying the parachute and carrying our packet and it just left the ground. Now this is a picture taken by a camera we brought onto the high altitude balloon. It ascended to more than 100,000 feet and took a picture of the Miami Valley. It's quite different from what you normally see, right? Because 100,000 feet, that's much, much higher than even when you are flying in a plane. So thank you very much for watching this video. And please come visit us at Rice State University. Thank you.